taking a look at futures at BetMGM and who's going to win it all. Right now, the Warriors are minus 155, Celtics plus 140, Heat plus 2,500. <laughs> so the books kind of know that the odds are long for the Heat. But <laughs> do you think this is the time to buy in on the Celtics? Absolutely. So the way the Celtics are constructed with Brown and Tatum and what Danny Ainge put together was a team that was designed to beat the Golden State Warriors during their heyday, to match up with them on the perimeter. But they couldn't get past the LeBron years when with him in Cleveland. And so now this is that chance where I thought like, hey, this team is built for what isn't in the West, which was Phoenix, which, you know, is the most recent champion. But here are the Golden State Warriors, and this is the team that's built for that. Robert Williams would be a problem for anybody. You know, Kevon Looney has shown up to be very productive, but that gets kind of nulled and voided. The, the, the Warriors won't be able to go to the hole like they want to with Robert Williams back there. They don't have an answer for Al Horford who can do it from the inside and out and who's a veteran who knows how to do the little small things that matter. You have Tatum and Brown, so you'd have to defend, you'd have to decide who would defend them. And Steph Curry would have to be in the conversation of having to defend a player. The only advantage I would give this, uh, the, the, the Warriors at this point would be their bench with Jordan Poole. So I would buy in on the Celtics now because they had a, have a lot of basic construct pieces that would allow them to win a grind out series with the Warriors who like to coach, shoot from outside. For the people listening at home thinking, oh my God, this show is completely sold on the Celtics. Why are they not talking about the Warriors? Because the Warriors looked absolutely dominant last night against the Mavericks. Here's the thing. We're also a sports betting show. So we're taking a look at the value in the market right now. And there's just not a ton on the Golden State Warriors right now at minus 155. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're dominant. But that's what the price is. You're paying more <laughs> for a team that's looked so good. You're buying low on the Celtics right now because they've had the tougher schedule. They're going to yeah. be at a rest disadvantage. All of this is built into the number. But if you think there is an outside chance that the Celtics contend here, there is a way to play this. And also you can hedge. Even if they don't end up winning the NBA Finals, there are ways to make money off this in case they you know, play seven games against the Warriors. You can take the Warriors in the final game and still make some money. Yep. That's how you do it in sports betting.